What is up guys, Chris here, and today I have some more Destiny gameplay for you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you what the Vanguard Armory pre-order bonus will include. So first off, to get this pre-order bonus, you must pre-order Destiny through a select retailer. The retailers vary depending on what country or region you live in, so be sure to check Destiny's official website for a full list of retailers that applies to you. Now the Vanguard Armory pre-order bonus will grant you early access to Vanguard weapons and armor as well as give you a Vanguard player emblem. This pre-order bonus this only grants you early access, so if you don't pre-order Destiny, you can easily obtain all of this through progression in the game. Now, the Vanguard Armory pre-order bonus will include a total of 9 uncommon weapons, 3 uncommon character class helmets, and a Vanguard player emblem. All the weapons each do an attack of 60 and the armor varies in defense rating. The Hunter's Helmet has a defense of 33 and the Warlock's and Titan's Helmet both have a defense of 32. The weapons consist of a Scout Rifle, a Snipe Rifle, a Rocket Launcher, an Auto Rifle, a Shotgun, a Fusion Rifle, a Hand Cannon, a Machine Gun, and lastly a Pulse Rifle. Now the armor consists of a Hunter Helmet, a Warlock Helmet, and a Titan Helmet. Now each piece of gear also has a description for it. The Singularity Scout Rifle states it's an accurized Vanguard issue scout rifle harmonically tuned for precision fire. Next up is the incognito sniper rifle which states that it's a flexible vanguard issue sniper rifle that uses nano lathe components to improve design tolerances. After that we have the harbinger rocket launcher which states that it's a general purpose vanguard issue rocket launcher. It also states apprentices rebuild barons into harbingers. Now barons were in the destiny beta and they are just an earlier test model of the rocket launcher. Next up is the Cardi Blanche S1 auto rifle which states it's also an accurized vanguard issue auto rifle designed for performance at long range. After that we have the SG Scattercast Shotgun. Its description states that it's a vanguard issue shotgun thoroughly tested and completely reliable. Next up is the SK-5 Type Null Fusion Rifle which states that it's a multi-role vanguard issue fusion rifle modified for enhanced performance. Then we have the Peccadillo's Grace Hand Cannon which states that it's a flexible vanguard issue hand cannon. Its performance returned by an Exos Bayesian Profiler. After that we have the BTRD 345 machine gun which states it's a multi-role vanguard machine gun. The serial number memorializes the number of kills the prototype scored in field tests. The final weapon we have is the Trifecta S2 Pulse Rifle, which states that it's an accurized Vanguard issue pulse rifle, stripped and rebuilt with tight tolerances for long range engagements. Now we get into the armor. So first off we have the Stratus White Hunter Helmet, which states that some generous hunter donated this helmet for the use of the newly reborn. After that we have the Chroma White Warlock Helmet, which states that one of the tower's warlock circles donated this helmet for the use of their newly reborn brethren. And finally, the last piece of armor and gear we have is the Ajima White Titan Helmet, which states that the Sun Legion Order donated this helmet for the use of the newly reborn. So that's all the weapons and armor that the Vanguard Armory pre-order bonus will allow you to have early access to. Now, as I mentioned before, this pre-order bonus does not actually give these items to you. You'll have early access to them, but you will still have to purchase them using Glimmer. Now, the Vanguard Armory pre-order bonus will also give you this Vanguard Honor Player Emblem, which you can use to mainly show off in the crucible but anyways that's all i have for you on destiny for today if you guys could please be sure to give this video a like rating subscribe for more destiny content coming soon and let me know in the comment section below what weapon or piece of armor you like the most also if you'd like to see more armor or weapons be sure to click those annotations on screen but as always i really appreciate you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time